Hey everyone, Ezor here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get through Chapter 6 for the game Numa Breath of Life. Now this one is a lot easier than Chapter 5 was, so I'm just going to let the video play out here because they're really not overly difficult. If you have any questions, go and leave them in the comments down below, I'll address them as soon as I can. Uh, there will be timestamps for each part of this chapter, so if you're stuck on a specific part, go ahead and click that timestamp in the description below. If you like other video game related content, that's kind of what I do, so consider subscribing. Thank you all for watching, I've been Ezor, and until next time. Keep your story going. Jester. Have you heard the one about the character who thought he was the infinite? His story came to an end. Quite the dramatic irony. Do I make my movements? My steps? I've never thought about a step I've made. They just seem to occur. I'm thrown about this world. Do I control or rather merely witness my movement? If it is the case that I'm merely witnessing my motion, then is this my body? Or am I an observer? Patience is a virtue I possess. A god has infinite patience. A small proof of my deity. If I get frustrated with waiting, what does that mean? I'm not a god? Hmm. Suppress. Just a momentary lapse of reason. Existential crisis. Everyone has one. Don't worry about it. Suppress. Light has curious properties. It drives out darkness. Or perhaps it's the other way around. Perhaps light is the absence of darkness. I should find out. How much light do you need to fill a bucket? Four? Perhaps my lack of control is rational. I have two observable natures as far as I can see, my body and my mind. My body moves around doing things. It can be pushed away by equal and opposite forces. It is constrained by the world. My mind creates thoughts that it speaks. What is my nature though? Unitary, bipartite or tripartite or something other? How could I know? I have my words. Words are the product of a mind. Therefore, it follows that I think. I think, therefore, I am. Cogito ergo sum. I move, so I have a body. Maybe a spirit, too. Something intangible. A connection with a world I cannot know. Recurring theme here, back with a difference. What is it with all these observations I keep making? Observations about this and that. Always got something interesting to say, apparently. Communication, that's what I keep trying to do. These aren't just thoughts, they're words. But who am I talking to? This audible collection of my thoughts, what is its purpose? Why do thoughts have words? Do words allow understanding of thoughts? Perhaps without words, thoughts would be unchained things. Not everything is up for grabs. Parts of the world bend to my will, or perhaps are just tethered to me. In a world where I am the only agent of change, do I approach the end of the world, or does the end approach me?
I don't think I'd take it well if I spent my life controlled by another, though I'm not fully in control, clearly. My body is constrained to this world. But I happily resign to this lack of control, it's just the darker side of that. How'd you get over that nagging feeling that someone is watching over you, controlling your steps? Unwelcome. At these words, even my words, I could be anything. Maybe I'm just words on a page, a script on a screen, an actor, a voice, a character, a visage, a fake. Approaching the end. I feel the Omega. My destination.